Hey, welcome to Joseph Crow's DIY Speaker Building. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to measure your speaker's sensitivity. So, just to do a quick definition, your speaker sensitivity is a measure of your speaker's efficiency in terms of how loud it'll go with one watt of input power, typically measured at one meter away using a one kilohertz sine tone. So, I'm going to demonstrate the configuration of your test setup. So, I've just drawn a quick diagram here. You're going to have your speaker that you're going to be testing, and you're going to be using a microphone. In my case, I'm using the Dayton Audio UMM6 USB reference measurement microphone. And so the standard test setup is to have your microphone placed at one meter away from your, from your speaker, okay? And then you're going to be hooking up your amplifier into your speaker, and the target voltage, uh, assuming that your speaker is a nominal 8 ohms impedance is 2.83 volts uh, and you would have to determine that using a voltmeter and you would have to set it to AC voltage because we're feeding it an AC signal and you're going to feed your amplifier the the signal in my case I'm using my computer and I'm using software called REW which is room equalization wizard and within that software there's uh, a tool that allows you to generate any kind of a, a signal. In this case, we're going to be doing a sine wave at one kilohertz. So, and also you're going to be connecting your microphone as an input into your computer. So, as I mentioned before, you're going to be using a voltmeter set to AC RMS voltage and connecting it to the to speaker, uh, either the output of the amplifier or connecting it somewhere along uh, the speaker wire there. And one thing to consider too when you're measuring your speaker sensitivity is the impedance of the speaker. And any uh, serious DIY speaker builder would have the DAT speaker test system or an equivalent. And so one thing to keep in mind is uh, in this particular instance, my speaker at one kilohertz, actually the uh, impedance starts to rise. And so we actually have 27.32 ohms. So my speaker that I'm testing is an Altec 414, and this is a 16 ohm version. So you have to factor in the nominal impedance of your driver, and you also have to examine where in the impedance profile you're testing. So in my case, I'm just using this industry standard one kilohertz test signal. Um, and then, but you're actually at liberty to change the frequency, but you do need to be mindful for example, if you change your test frequency to, say, 400 hertz, then the impedance then becomes 17.36 ohms. So why is this important? Well, the 2.83 volts that we mentioned earlier is going to now change, and there's a simple formula to calculate what the target voltage needs to be, and it's simply the square root of the impedance at that frequency. So 17.36 square root of that is 4.16 volts. So our target voltage is no longer 2.83 volts, it's 4.16 volts that we'll be looking for on our voltmeter. And also, you need to remember to change your frequency. Instead of a 1 kilohertz, we're going to be now setting REW for a 400 hertz sine wave. So you see here I've shown the generator tool within REW. You're going to set it to 400 hertz. You're going to set your RMS level to a low level and you're going to slowly rise up as you're playing the test tone until you reach the target voltage on your voltmeter of 4.16 volts. When I did this test with my setup, it ended up being minus 17 dB. So this then becomes your set level and you also need to consider all the other settings in your setup. So you have your Windows volume mixer volume settings and also if your amplifier has a volume control you need to be mindful of the setting on the volume control because all of these f will influence your uh, voltage on your voltmeter for example if you turn down your amplifier you're going to reduce the voltage coming out when you start to do your test and here we're going to do a frequency response test uh, when you first start it up, REW is going to warn you that your SPL meter is not calibrated or your measurement microphone is not calibrated 
against a reference. In this case, um, what would you want to use is a decibel meter. And um, I'm not going to walk through how to do this because REW walks it through pretty clearly. Uh, I'm going to assume that you've already done this step to calibrate your microphone to the proper SPL. Okay, so here we have the make a measurement window for when you're going to make a frequency response measurement. And so you're going to set the level at the minus 17. And again, this isn't uh, completely, you're going to have to have this level set to what you, d you find uh, is the correct uh, decibel level to achieve your target voltage on your voltmeter. And there you have it. So that is how you do a sensitivity measurement using REW and using a voltmeter. All right, so let's get to measuring. So we want to measure our Altec 414 12-inch woofer. And this is the resulting frequency response that we get. And you can see here that we're getting, I would say, 95 dB sensitivity through the base. And there's a bit of a rising response in this driver. And so 95 is pretty much bang on, typical for a 12-inch Pro Audio driver. So the next thing I wanted to do was measure the Summer Rain front horn. I built this horn and it's using an 8-inch low through driver. So you can see here I have the DAT speaker tester set up and I'm going to measure the impedance profile of this driver. Now the back chamber is sealed. So when we get the result, you can see here there's, uh, you can see the resonance of the back chamber. And so I decided to set the test tone at 200 hertz. And so the frequency response that we get from this is here and you can see here that we have usable output starting at around 200 hertz and the cutoff i would say you'd want to be not going any going past uh, three kilohertz so we have efficiency of around 108 db at 250 hertz however there is a dip here at 900 hertz but still we're we're above uh, 95 db and really you could say um, if you wanted to flatten the eq on this uh, you would be solidly pinned at around 100 dB sensitivity uh, for this mid-range horn. Now for comparison's sake, I decided to measure a small bookshelf uh, made by Celestian. And it's a three-way, as you can see, and it uses a small six, six and a half inch woofer. So we get the impedance profile of this, and again, we set the test tone at 200 hertz. And we get the following frequency response. Now you'll notice a dramatic decline in the overall sensitivity. So in the base region, we're only around 84. Now I do have this in the middle of the room, so there is no real room gain uh, with this particular test. But you can see, um, as we get into the mid-range, we're around 90, 92 dB sensitivity, and it has a, has a um, you know, it's around 90 dB in the, in the treble. So there you have it. Um, I wanted to go back and show you an REW. Okay, so here we have the Altec 414, and this is demonstrating the distortion noise floor with this particular driver. And so you can see here that we're about 35 dB down uh, to the noise floor. And so this is gonna impact your dynamic range and low level detail retrieval. And it's definitely gonna, from an audiophile perspective, have an impact on the overall sound quality. Switching over to the front loaded horn, uh, we're at a little bit better. Um, there's a little bit of a peak here through the bandwidth. However, we're still around, um, you know, 30, 35, 40 dB down for the noise floor. However, things take a turn for the worst when we switch to the bookshelf speaker. Uh, the distortion noise floor is really only about, I would say, 10 or 20 dB down. And this is going to have a dramatic impact on uh, dynamic range and low level detail retrieval and various other attributes. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, if you like this, click subscribe or click like, and I'm going to continue to do a video every week, and I hope to keep it interesting for the DIY hobbyist.